This problem is all about finding the value of finding the length of BD, which is y. So we're asked to find y when we are given a right angle triangle where you have angle A B D to be 90 and angle B D C to be 90 and length A D is 4, length D C is 9. So we are asked to find Y. Now let's begin. In this problem, I will use two methods. Now the first method, first method, let's now draw <coughs> a triangle. Now a triangle like this here is 90. So <coughs> we have here to be A, B, C. And now we now rule a line like this. Here is also 90. So here is C. Here is 4. Here is 9. We are looking for Y here. Now. So since we are given this particular problem. So now. We can now say. In triangle. B, C, D. Now, let's assume here is this one. In triangle BCD, we have angle BDC to be 90. We now have, since the sum of angle in a, in a triangle is equal to 180, so you can say angle BDC plus angle D B C plus angle B C D let me just make C let me arrange them well C D here so equal to what 180 sum of angle of the triangle so now angle bdc is 90 plus angle cbd plus this is theta equal to 180 yes so angle cbd plus 90 plus theta is equal to 180. Can I move this to this other side? And I have C angle C B D equal to 180 minus 90 minus theta. And this angle C B D is simply as 90 minus theta. <coughs> now in triangle a, B, C, you have angle A, B, C equal to 90. Now, equal to 90. Let me just bring, redraw it here again. You have this. Here is 4, 9. S, A, B, C, 20. Now, we have angle A, B, C, which is 90. Now, angle A, B, C is equal to angle A, B, D plus angle C, B, D. So, this is 90 equal to. We're looking for this. This is angle A, B, D plus now since here is, here is theta now angle C B D that is what we got here C B D is 90 minus theta now we're looking for this moving this to this other side you now have 
90 minus 90 minus 10 equal to angle A, B, D. So, interchangeably, this is uh, um, angle A, B, D equal to 90 minus 90 minus 10. So, we open up this bracket, you have 90 minus 90 plus theta. This will equal to theta. So angle A, B, D is theta. So here will be theta. So now, since here is theta, here will be 90 minus theta. Right. That means that here, here is the y, and that means that triangle A B T is similar to triangle to triangle C B T because since From the analogy, since here is theta, here is also here is 90. It then now means that angle B A B is equal to angle C B D. This angle is 90 minus theta, while this angle is also 90 minus theta. So these two triangles are similar and they have a common side. So now, now let's, re, let's redraw this triangle. So we have the first one to be like this. We have here to be Y, here is theta. Here is 4, here is A, B, D. Then the next one is angle C, B, D, which is this angle C, B, D. Here is a Y. And Y here is theta. Here is 90. Here is 90. Now, let's look at the similarities now. Here is 90 minus theta. Here is 90 minus theta. So now, let's look at the angle. Now, BD in triangle, let me just say in triangle A, B, D. A, B, D. B, D is adjacent to theta and 90. B, D is adjacent to theta and 90. Divide by. Now. Here is what? Here is um, 9. Sorry. I see there is 9. So, in then in triangle C, B, D, D, C is adjacent to. Okay, let me just take this ratio here now. You have B, B, D all over A, D. So we have all over A, D. Should be equal to, this ratio should be equal to, now B, D is adjacent to theta and 90. So which one is adjacent to theta and 90 here? Theta and 90 is D, C. So that one should be at the top, D, C. So B, C, because B, C, <coughs> B, D here is adjacent to theta and 90. So the one that is adjacent to theta and 90 here is 
DC. So that is DC up. Then the one that is adjacent to 90 minus theta and theta and 19 is AD. So AD and the same thing here, BD is adjacent to here. So now, so now you have BD adjacent there. So that means here now, now BD is our Y divided by AD is our what? AD is 4 equal to DC is 9 divided by BD is Y. So we we'll cross multiply. We now have y square equal to what? 4 times 9. So y square is equal to 36. So the take, taking square root of both sides, you have y to be equal to plus or minus 6. So, but this is distance. The minus sign is not a solution. So if you have, you have plus or minus 6. Since its distance is length, so this is not part of the solution. So y is will be equal to what six? That is the answer to that particular problem. So now let's also use another method to do it. The second method. Second method, you have a drawing line. This here is ninety. You don't rule a line from here to here. You now join it like this. And here is at 90, here is 4. We're looking for y. Here is 9. Now you have here as A, B, C, D. So here is 90. So we can now see in, in triangle A, B, D. Using Pythagoras theory, you have a b square equal to a d square plus b plus b d square. So that means a b square is equal to what? A d is four square plus BD is Y square. So we now have 16 plus Y square. So, so that means AB square is this. So now let's call this equation one. Equation two in triangle CBD, you have in triangle CBD, you have BC square equal to B, BD square plus DC square, which is equal to Y square plus 9 square. So BC square will now be Y square plus 81 so d c square so we have gotten this square now in try let us let's call this equation two now let me write those equations you have a b square equal to 16 plus y square equation one then b c square which is equal to y square plus 81 equation 2 equation 2 then in triangle a b c triangle a b c a c square plus sorry a c square is equal to a B square plus B C square. So A C A C 
is equal to AD plus DC and AD is 4 plus DC is 9 which is equal to 13 so we have our AC equal to 13 so that means we have 13 squared is equal to this AB let me call this equation 3 you have AB square which is 16 plus y square plus now you have bc square which is y square plus 81 so now we now have 13 square is equal to 16 plus 81 plus y square plus y square you have 2y square now now 16 plus 81 you, you will get 97 plus 2y square so that means you have 2y square plus 97 you go to 13 square is 169 let me see this is 93 Three one so one sixty nine. So now we now move this to this other side. You have two y square equal to one sixty nine minus ninety seven. So two y square. So now you have one sixty nine minus ninety seven. We have two here. This will give you. This will give you this is two sixteen minus nine seven. So now we have to ten seventy two. So divide both side by two. We have y square to the equal to thirty six. So take the square root of both side. You have y to be equal to what, 6. So that is the final answer. Thank you for watching to the end. Have a nice day.